This is a rare look at the reality of war. Back in 20, uh, 2009, Marine Staff Sergeant Jesse Cottle was on an IED clearing mission in Afghanistan when a bomb exploded underneath him. He lost his legs that day and it has been one long road to recovery. A few years later in the summer of 2013, we first introduced you to this hero and his wife Kelly. The amazing photo of the couple showing Kelly carrying Jesse on her back went viral all over the world. It was taken in Eagle by local photographer Sarah Ledford. Six years after our first story aired, Jesse and Kelly Cottle are making news again. Our Maggie O'Meara has an update on their story you will want to see in tonight's Seven's Hero. That's just how we get around sometimes, like at the beach or wherever. Yeah, we do it all the time. It's just pretty normal. Jesse and Kelly Cottle were flooded with media attention from all over the world after this famous photo went viral in 2013. A photo of Kelly carrying Jesse on her back. We just thought if we could share our story, if it could encourage anybody, then it was worth it. A lot has happened since we first met them. The couple just recently moved back to Idaho. Jesse went back to school. He's now a physician's assistant. Finished PA school and um, just decided that we wanted to live here. So we moved up here um, without a job or anything, just having faith that I would get one, and I did. So I work for St. Alphonsus. And they're now parents to two little girls, Grace and baby Isla. It's hard to even imagine what life was like before them now. The Cottles are building a forever home in Eagle, and that's where this man comes into the story. We had met Gary Sinise together at um, a little event in the LA area. The Gary Sinise Foundation honors America's veterans. The foundation's RISE program provides specially adapted smart homes for wounded heroes like Jesse, mortgage free. We don't even really realized that we'd be eligible for his program. So when Gary called us on my cell phone, which was kind of surreal already by itself, you know, we put him on speakerphone. I've always admired you both, and uh, certainly am very, very grateful for what you've done for our country. Just said that they, they you know, be honored to have us in the, in the program and build us a forever home, essentially, in, in so many words. and. Yeah, I mean, then you're kind of speechless, don't really know what to say. Today kind of marks the halfway point uh, of, the, of the construction project for Jesse and Kelly. This week, the Gary Sinise Foundation held a Walls of Honor event for the Cottles at their future home. It's a day where we invite the local community, donors, uh, friends and family to come in and, and just write words of encouragement, words of thanks uh, on the walls before we drywall the home. Jesse and his family were welcomed with applause. Officially, on behalf of the Gary Sinise Foundation, all of our donors, all of our sponsors, everyone that's working on this house, I'd like to officially welcome United States Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Jesse Cottle and his family to your new forever home. Welcome home, buddy. Welcome home. You guys don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of what you're doing, but you are. And you're all incredible, and we're, so, we're just beyond thankful. So, love you guys. They're grateful, they're so grateful. Um, Jesse doesn't think that he de deserves this home. Uh, we think that he does. We think that his sacrifices that, that he gave up for our freedoms um, justifies this. It means so much. Um, like where do I start, you know? Um, but I think most importantly with the adaptive uh, aspect. All of the smart home technology that goes into this home is all geared towards making his life easier. You know, in addition to just having spacious hallways and wide enough doorways and everything like that for my wheelchair. It just, it's a smart home, so they're very cleverly designed for ways to make it easy, not only in my wheelchair, but in prosthetics as well. It means so much to us, and I see him every day, what he struggles with, and he has had such a good attitude about it, so, sorry. I feel like he's earned it for us, and I know it's hard for him to feel that way. I think this is just going to change his life and he deserves it. It's going to be 10 years this summer that he's been dealing with stuff and I think to be able to see him move freely around his home and to be proud of where he is and proud of what he's earned for his family is going to mean so much. 
helped me. The Cottles House will be finished and dedicated on Veterans Day in November. It makes a lot of stresses about the future kind of melt away and um, you also kind of feel like maybe you're dreaming. And we're, we're extra honored to be the first recipients in Idaho. So I think we're just really excited about kind of bringing the foundation and more awareness to Idaho. So we're very proud of that. The Gary Sinise Foundation, the RISE program, and the Cottle family. Just that never give up attitude of, you know, he wants to continue his life. I mean, he's, he's missing his legs, but he's not letting that get in the way. Seven's Heroes. The Gary Sinise Foundation's RISE program has already completed nearly 60 homes. 17 are currently under construction right now including the Cottle Zone. Everything is donated for the house by local and national businesses, so a big thank you to all of them. For more information on the Gary Sinise Foundation and what it does for our vets, go to this story on our website at ktvb.com. And if you've seen that face, you've heard the name, and you think, where, where do I? Forrest Gump. That's right. So he was the actor in Forrest Gump who played yeah. Tom Hanks's superior. I'm That's not for right. sure what the ranking was when they went off to war in Vietnam. And Gary Sinise's character ended up losing his right. legs. And I don't know if Gary Sinise was so involved with, with this organization before that role or if it's something that touched him it while happened. playing it. Yeah, but after. I mean, he really has touched so many veterans' lives. Lieutenant Dan. That's right. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. And Jesse. Happy yeah. Father's Day. Yeah. yeah. Great update. All right.